Welcome to this week's episode of Properties and Pints, where we educate home buyers and sellers one pint at a time. We are at a Tin Cannon Brewery, uh, straight out of Gainesville. Um, and uh, we're meeting uh, with Glenda today from uh, Atlantic Coast Mortgage. We're going to talk about how interest rates can affect your purchasing value. And interest rates, I guess, overall. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for coming by the brewery. Yeah, it's great. Great to have you guys here. So what was your involvement with this with, with Tin Cannon? Uh, I help with the um, some of the local sales and distribution okay. to uh, local restaurants in the D.C. Virginia area. Great. So uh, Okay, yeah, just help, help them out. Uh, some of my friends were involved and just wanted to, to help expand to a great brewery. And you like beer. And I like beer, <laughs> you know. Um, and it's actually the uh, oldest brewery in Prince William County. And so oh, cool. uh, yeah. we're just looking to. Um, you were a brewery before it was cool. Before it was cool, yeah. <laughs> and we're still trying to be cool. You still are cool. So let's talk about, you know, everyone knows, oh, interest rates are going up or going down. Why does that matter to a buyer? It's significant. It's, it's significant and it's going to become more significant as time goes on if interest rates continue to rise. Um, from this year to last year, um, we're looking at almost an entire point raise in interest rates. So last year you were looking at uh, right around three and you know 3.8, 3.75, and now it's going up to 4.75. And they're actually predicting that it's going to continue that growth as the economy continues to do well and they call the market correction continues to happen. Um, and what that means for the buyer is that, of course, you want to maximize your buying power um, as much as you can to get as much value for your purchase. And when interest rates go up, that does affect you, especially if you're pushing the limits of your debt-to-income ratio or the amount of money you want to put down. So if I'm if I'm going to buy a house and the interest rates are four, let's just use a round number, sure. and um, and let's say they say you can afford with with my financial resume. You can someone like you would say well, you can afford a house around this much. Right. And then if interest rates go up, does that affect how much I can afford? Absolutely. So let's say you're at four percent, and, and last year you could have qualified for a, a five hundred thousand dollar house with ten percent down. Mm-hmm. Now you might have to put twenty percent down, or you're going to have to lower your qualifying. Amount down to maybe 450 or okay. 425. So it affects how expensive of a house I can buy. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and even if it's not actually affecting your qualifying rate, it's going to affect your monthly payment. It's going to affect your, your bottom line monthly. You know, you might say, oh, I only want to pay $2,500 a month, but now with the interest rate going up, you're looking at a $2,700, $2,800 payment. That could affect your monthly payment. Will your credit score affect your interest payment? Your interest rate? It does. Um, you kind of look at it like, uh, the bank is your friend. Uh, the bank always weighs risk, and so the bank is going to be more willing and able to provide a better rate to somebody they think is better prepared to pay them back. Because it's less risk. Less risk. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The bank is our friend. The bank's your friend. Yeah. So, and there are multiple ways that you can find out what your credit score is, multiple ways to find out if you can prove it. Um, if you talk to a lender, it's probably your easiest and cheapest way to get a lender good credit analysis. Lenders are so great at Absolutely. saying, here's your credit, do X, Y, Z, and it'll help you. I mean, I'm so impressed yeah. with people in your line of work. Absolutely. And good ones like you help with that. Well, the best part is most of our, our credit analysis and then pre uh, application stuff is all free, free to the buyer, free to the consumer, um, and we just want to put you in the best position possible to make that purchase. So. And so interest rates are here, whatever they are today, and then they're going to be slowly going up. Is there some way to lock it in? Yeah, so there's obviously no magic ball in predicting where they're going to go. Right. Uh, right. We have our analysis and, and, and we are looking at things possibly going continuing up for trend to maybe up towards five and a half percent by this time next year. Now it might sound rather like you said it, it's going to affect them. And so what we have done is started what we call a lock and shop program. Um, and so what that does is you can actually lock your interest rate before you find a house for up to 80 days. Okay. And so what it does is, you know, for let's say we're in you know, January or July or August now, we can get up to you know 80 days after that and, and be in an interest rate Based off of a, a maximum uh, loan amount. And it's a and it's a no. Like that helps, especially first time home buyers feel comfortable going, okay, my rate's gonna be this. It's not gonna change. Like 
Yeah. Well, yeah. So one less thing you have to worry about. Yeah. You know, you can be comfortable, and this is what you know, and um, the peace of mind, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to to know what you're getting into and know where you're right. sat there, and yeah. it definitely helps with the numbers. Have there been other lenders that do something like that? Like I, I thought, you know, most cases it was thirty days and lots of people do yeah, well, in most places, they don't actually lock the loan until it's under contract. Right. Until you have it out of So that's a special. So, that's a huge, I mean, that's huge. Yeah, it kind of puts you, at, you know, ahead of the eight ball instead of behind it yeah. as far as shopping. Um, and that usually does also come with a pretty approval letter so that you can go ahead and put offers them if you see fit. And to be clear, like we talked about rates rising, they're still low. I mean, even if we get up oh, to the yeah. fives, my, I'm old, my first house. Um, we had we were excited to get an eleven percent loan. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah I mean, Even I mean, ten years ago, it did have right electricity and water. Yeah. <laughs> right before the crash, <laughs> we were looking at six, seven, yeah. eight, nine percent. Right. You know, depending on where you were. So what are we? Uh, what are we drinking here today? Uh, so I have the uh, Revenge of the Zip IPA. Um, it is a triple hops uh, session IPA, which means the low alcohol content. Uh, it's still a good solid hot flavor. Um, delicious, one of those drink it all day IPAs we call it. And I have the Parrot Head Margarita Goza, which was brewed especially for a Jimmy Buffett's concert last weeks week ago. Yeah. Yeah. I have the uh, Strawberry Blonde Ale. It is a good summer beer. Um, really delicious. I can't obviously talk about what happened. Wait, before. can I just say this is really refreshing and good for summer because it kind of has that margarita. Yeah. I think we all kind of chose summer beers. Summer yeah. beers. Yeah. Summer well, cheers, hot cheers, cheers, guys. Cheers.